Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you have been following Arkin Optics at all, you know that recently they came out with the Halo Titanium Scope Rings. I just got a set in that I'm going to throw on one of my rifles and I want to show them to you. But there are a couple of things that you need to know about the Halo Titanium Scope Rings before going out and making a purchase and deciding whether or not you need these. Typically, when we talk about titanium, what we're looking for is something lightweight and durable. And if you are looking at a set of these for a lightweight rifle, you want to keep weight down and cut it everywhere that you possibly can, these are not the rings that you're looking for. When Arkin designed these, it wasn't to be lightweight. It was more to be durable. So if you're running an extremely high recoiling rifle, this would be a great option for that. Or if you're out in the woods hunting a lot and you're beating the crap out of your gear, or you're trying to design a rifle that perhaps maybe you would use in a shit hits the fan scenario where you're looking for that durability um, that you could even run in like a combat style environment, then this would be the ring that you're looking for. So if you watch the channel at all, you know I'm a huge Arkin fan. I think that they have really turned the industry on its ear in a lot of ways by being able to bring great products at a great price to market so that you guys can actually afford some of this gear. And these rings are no exception. So let's take a quick look at them. So this is a look of what you get in the package. You've got your instruction manual here, obviously the rings. A couple of extra set screws in case you break one or lose one or whatever. And then your Torx um, wrench. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I will say about Arkin rings and mounts that I really like is you have your, you have your Torx specs on the rings. They're laser etched on the rings. So you've got your 18 inch pounds for your torque spec on the top of the ring and then where you mount to your pick rail, um, 30 inch pounds. What is cool about that guys is the probably the most common cause for a return on most optics. And I know this because I, I work with optics companies quite often. Um, is people will over torque their rings or their mount and what they end up doing is distorting the tube on their optic or on their rifle scope to where their uh, turrets no longer work. It's one of the most common causes for damage to a scope. So one cool thing with Arkin rings is they put those torque specs right on the rings themselves. As you can see, the fit and finish on these guys is awesome. And as I was saying before, if we take a look at this, uh, the back of this card here, these were designed for durability, not so much to reduce weight. So we'll read the back here. Arcan Optics Halo Tie Scope Rings are CNC machined from aerospace grade 7075 aluminum and titanium alloy to ensure our products perform with precision in the world's most rugged environments. So again, not for reduction in weight, but more for that durability high recoiling rifle or something that you know where you're going to beat the crap out of your gear that's where you would want these rings and so let's throw a couple of them on the scale real quick we'll get some weights and take a look at that but 
before we do that, I want to say, so these come in five different versions. You've got um, the 34 millimeter high, 34 millimeter medium, 34 millimeter low, and then you've got 30 millimeter medium and 30 millimeter low. But taking a look at the weight, we'll just throw one of those guys on there. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we're coming in right at three ounces there. And so both of them together, we're coming out at 6.1 is actually exactly what Arkin states on their packaging. So anyway, these are the high rings. Um, so they're going to be a little bit more heavy than the medium or the low. Now, I'm going to take these guys. We'll get them mounted on the rifle that I'm putting them on. I'll show you how they look. Once I'm done there, we'll be matching these within Arkin EP5. I'll give you a look at that. And uh, that's the rings. Alright guys, we've got the rings put on and the optic mounted, the diopter is set, eye relief is set, everything is leveled out, and uh, this rifle is now ready to zero. But this is one of the rifles that I use a lot in this channel, and I'll talk to it real quick. Running the TR2 Tactical Butt Stock, which is awesome, I just did a review on that if you guys want to check that one out. Um, obviously Arkin EP5, 5 to 25 by 56, running a cold shot MRAB, the Halo Titanium Scope Rings, I have got an MDT Send It level, and uh, this is on a 6 arc, so we're running a 22 inch Saturn barrel. Got the EC tuner muzzle brake on the back, which I love. And then we've got an MDT Oryx bipod. There's one more thing I want to throw in here before I end this video, guys. When you're mounting your optic, um, whether you're using the Halo titanium scope rings or the regular scope rings, there is a reason why they have those torque settings um, laser etched on the rings. And you really need an inch pounds torque wrench. If you guys don't have one, I highly recommend picking one up. It's going to save you a ton of headache and a ton of problems as you are mounting different optics on different rifle platforms. Another thing that I want to say, guys, about these rings, because I left this out, um, if you do decide to pick out or pick up a pair of these or a set of these, as all Arkham products, they come with a full lifetime warranty. And the folks at Arkham are awesome to work with. So if you ever have any issues, they'll get you squared away really in a heartbeat. And uh, they've been great folks to work with over the years. I don't have a code with Arkin, but I will leave a link in the description for these rings if you do want to pick one up or uh, pick a set of them up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. God bless, and have a great day.